Hey guys, Vings here, back from Persona 4 Golden! Last time we did the first half of Dungeon Heaven, where Nanako is currently being held captive. And now we'll do the second half. And now skip ahead to the next floor. I won't hand over this girl, no matter what. This time for sure. This guy's a bit of a creep. What? He's going to commit suicide with Nanako chan? Oh. Now's not the time to be worrying about what he's got planned. We just need to focus on getting Nanako chan back safe. Okay. Will do. God, I love this song. I'm scared. Where are you? Mom, Dad, save me. But well, what about Onichan? I can hear Nako chan's voice. Senpai, she's just up ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. At the end. Cool. Unfortunately, if you look over on the right side of the screen there, you'll see I'm quite low on SP. And if you look now to the bottom left of the screen, you see I don't have money either. That's a double problem. And one that I will have to go fix before we continue the boss fights. Okay, we're at what I presume to be the boss. I'm fully healed up. I'm ready to rumble. We four ladies are ready to rumble. There she is, Nako-chan's behind these gates. Yeah, go. So I'm not looking up anything for this boss fight yet. If I lose, I'll check. If not, then I'm awesome. Big bro! You mustn't go! go what? Can you fix your chin clipping into her head first? Uh, da 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 Let go now, let go. I'm going to save this girl. What does that mean? Taro Namatame. It's definitely him. Thanks, Naoto. We then know. he did come in here. So you're the killer! Let go of her! Ah, uh, <laughs> you're the ones I saved. What? Don't worry. I'll save this girl, too. Huh? Is this dude hide or something? Eh, he, he sort of looks like it. Quit talking shit and let go of the girl! Don't... don't come near me! Or I'll clip my forearm into her face so hard! <gasps> Nanako-chan! Man, if calm once down, someone had a gun... We can't predict his behavior! We have to keep him talking. If we can discern his intentions, perhaps we can somehow deal with him. Don't worry, he didn't hear a word of that. Now goes in danger. You should choose your words carefully. Lenato, why are you doing this? To save them. What does that mean? Now goes in danger. Choose your words carefully. What is the Midnight Channel? People. Needing to be saved, appear. What? That's why I put them in the TV. Interesting. That's the opposite of what we thought was happening. To s um. You keep saying to choose to s my words carefully, but they don't seem to do anything. Let Nanako go! No, we must pull. You put the people you saw on the Midnight I, Channel into this world, I asked am I correct? The other two questions like three times. They all want to be saved. Uh, what? Did I ever ask you to save me? You didn't save us, damn it! It was the exact opposite! If I hadn't put you in the TV, how would you have ended up? Alive? How would we? Are you trying?
trying to say we wouldn't have been able to face ourselves? What? But we nearly died! Nearly died. Yes. Exactly. You kidnapped them. Yes or no? Y slash N? Yes. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Why did you target local residents who became known through the media? Why do these people appear on the Midnight Channel? On rainy nights. On TV. They signal me. To save them. This guy's crazy. You keep saying save this and save that. Are you saying murdering people is your idea of saving them? Murder? No. I'm saving them. I mean, to be clear, there are serial killers who do think that. So it's not too far-fetched that this guy would think it, but... It's still weird. How's that different, huh? All you're doing is killing people! <laughs> if you want to think that, go ahead. I know. You chased us all the way here to kill. <laughs> Why? Well, too bad. I'm gonna save her. <laughs> no. You asshole! You're not gonna get away with this! Shut the hell up! Thank you. Enough. Let's talk in more fighting. <laughs> what a wonderful world! An unknown, unreachable place filled with pleasant fog. I'm a savior! Yeah, sort of sounds like Yosuke. It's filthy over there. So many evildoers. That's why I'm going to save them! I'm a savior! A righteous hero! You also sort of sound like, um, fish eye guy, you know, from the video game world, whose name I don't remember because that's how unimportant he was. Is that a shadow? <laughs> Big bro, I can't breathe. Uh, you could talk pretty well for being unable to breathe, Nanako. Nana-chan! Let's do this. <laughs> I like the awkward pause. Now, senpai. After after the combat yell when they don't move. Nanako-chan. It's, it's always funny to me. Nanako-chan. Nanako-chan. Oh, she'll be fine. Bastard! How dare you! Give her back. No, fight me. I'm... I'm going to save her! Oh, a cutscene I had to reverse. Ew. What's happening to him? What do you think? He merged with his shadow and oh god. I like how Teddy's mouth doesn't move because it's a costume. You guys got any uh, Persona? Look at him. He's with the we can uh, summon our Persona? Oh god. Ugh. He's so disturbing looking. That face. Just like, ugh. A face not even a mother could love. And that's a highly impractical hat. I do- I'd like the peace signs on it. He's holding him peace. Peace and love. Peace and love. I- I'm going to save her! Don't interfere! How solid is his grasp on reality? Uh, it's non-existent at this point. I... I'm... Okay, so... As previously stated, I know nothing about this fight. 
Which is, uh, not a good place to be in. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what I should do exactly. And, like, I don't know if he has any elemental attacks either. I know nothing! I know absolutely nothing. Uh, in which case, popping a Tetracarn on myself wouldn't be terrible. You know, just in case. Okay, so he's not weak to fire or wind, or else Rise would have told me. I assume. It's a strong one! Uh, pop a Tetracarn onto Teddy. Not weak to fire either? Eh. I mean, I'll use fire just in case. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Which means he likely has more than one form. No, ow! Or he heals himself like a jerk. This is gonna suck. Ugh. Yeah, because if he heals... Oh. That's annoying. Okay. Can I at least absorb your SP? I can, okay. So it's pretty much pointless to use Tetracarn right now. Awesome. Tempest Slash, then. Unfortunately, Naoto still has her base weapon. So that's... Sucks. Oh god, stop. Stop! I mean... I haven't done anything! Let's go. It's been like three turns! He's barely taken any Miko. damage! It's annoying! Cool, increased attack. I am now. Awesome! Good job, Yukiko. Okay, so the strategy of using the Karns to block are as pointless. Fun, fun, fun. This is a fun boss. I'm being sarcastic. Obviously. I... I this oh god Okay, uh Zeodyne It's a strong Might as well finish off with wind I mean, he hasn't really attacked yet, so I don't... know. Ow! Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. Okay, so he has Agudine. To start. Uh, it doesn't look like... Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. Uh, that he'll use... Uh, the negate abilities on these spells, the wall negate ability, until after two of them have been placed. Huh? 
I mean, I'm sort of pulling that number out of my ass. I might be right, might be wrong. Teddy, are you okay? Stop. Someone heal him. And also, life leech doesn't count as a spell. That's annoying. Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. Okay, I just... I guess just keep hitting him for damage, right? I am now. Thanks a bunch! No, okay. So he just does it automatically. Okay, I suppose I should be memorizing the order he does this in. Let's see, he just used Tetracarn. Uh, boy. In that case... I don't, I don't know. I really don't. Blade of Fury? Let's go. Okay, so if you use Tetracarn, or the Tetra Break... God, okay, so... What did you use last time? I'm grateful. Here we go. Now, Rise, I would love it if you use the heal ability more often than the buff. So I cannot tell you how little I care about that buff. Spirit Leech, okay. Stop. That's disgusting what you just did there. I really wish I got Spirit Leech to saw Spirit Train. I mean, the 30 is nice, but 100, ooh boy. Okay, so I'm going to write this down just to see if there's an actual pattern. One side. Okay, uh, attack, I guess. I mean... It would be nice if I can hit him! Okay, I'll put this on to Teddy. In case he uses Agudine again, I guess. It's the only attack spell I've actually seen him use. Oh my fucking god. Hit him! This is actually making me mad. Like, why is it so hard to land a hit in this game? Hang in there. I am down. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Calm me down. Interesting. So it doesn't look like he does them in a in an order. Because that was Tetra Break, Spirit Leech, Maka Break, Spirit Leech, Maka Break. 
So it's not really happening in order. Persona! Because she still hasn't done Agidine. Uh, just in case, I'll have Teddy guard. Garu die now. Awesome. Okay. Ugh. Yukiko-senpai! So he likely uses... Stop. Stop dodging everything. What was I saying? He likely uses the Brave ability before using a spell. But the time he didn't use it last... The reason he didn't use it last time is because I merely reset it up. Oh, thank you. That was actually very useful. Uh, Spirit Drain. So with that in mind, I'll use Tetracarn on me. I don't know if Life Leech counts as a physical move or not. It doesn't make sense that it would. Hmm. Let's go. Also, I don't like this boss music. It's very really boring. Okay, so... Got it. Tetracarn does not protect against... Life Leech. That, which makes sense. I didn't think it would, but... You never know in this game. I also don't think I actually put Tetracarn on me, but it didn't bait out the Tetra Break is my point. Uh, Tempest Slash, go for it. I am now. Hmm. I'll give this a few more rounds before I actually look in. Before I look it up. Because I. Th I think I have the pattern down, but I don't know if I'm I don't know. Like I really don't. I honestly don't know why he has Tetra Break if he never uses a physical move either. Come, Himiko! Risei, do a thing. Okay, so he uses Life Leech because I'm using Tetracarn. And if I use Matricarn, he will instead use Spirit Leech, which is equally annoying. But regardless, he won't actually attack as long as I have a Matricarn up. So it's suggested, according to this wiki, to let him eat my SP, apparently. Which sounds silly. Persona! 
It also says I should be about 10 levels higher. That's not gonna happen. Like, goddamn, who wrote these strategy guides? Like, oh yeah, it should be around level 60 for this fight. Level 40, what, 47, 48? Like, goddamn. Like, how do people reach that high of a level this early in the game? It's ridiculous, that's what it is. Well, regardless, I will stick to that strategy that they suggested for now. Let's go. Keep just keep being the shit out of them. I mean, he won't use an attack. Like, he actually won't deal damage right now. Of course, it does suck when he spear drains me, spear leeches me. But, uh, fuck you. Stop missing! You have one job now to hit Thank the you. person. So once he's there, he is. I'm going to save her. I was about to say once he reaches two third life, his attack pattern changes. So quad coverage. He now makes it so that one element does bonus damage; the rest don't. De the rest deal less. Am I supposed to know which one? Uh, it doesn't say... Doesn't say. But regardless, now that he used that, I need to use Matricarn. To protect my entire team. Because he will likely be using a target everyone spell. And unfortunately, Nauta doesn't know this spell yet. So I do have a Matricorn here. And I'm pretty sure I have a magic mirror as well. At least one, right? I have a few, okay. Not a lot, but enough for maybe one more round of the. Come, Mimiko! Uh, and then Teddy. How about you restore my SP? That would be lovely. Persona! Didn't you just do something you say? I mean, I'll take it. Oh, I'll definitely take that one. Oof. The power of wind skills is greater now. Thanks, Risei, for letting me know. Now, I don't know if he's going to... I mean, might as well do this. Uh, like, I don't know if that's a one-turn... Seriously, Naoto? God damn it. What am I saying? I don't know if that's a one-turn thing, or a two-turn thing, or a multiple-turn thing, or what. It's okay. Yikes, Teddy! Someone heal him. 
Okay. This might suck. There it is, okay. Got it! Oh, okay. So, uh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, after his health was reduced by two-thirds, he will start trying to take control of my team. Hmm. He'll take control of my team, you say. Wind skills is greater now. About that. So now, at this point, he's supposed to start spamming an ability, which will likely kill me. So there's that. Um. Or... okay. I miss count turns. My bad, I'll try that again. Now that I know what's happening, it won't be as long, luckily. Okay. Good, 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 good. Hit me go! Mostly. Everyone survived. He has very little health left. According to this... My brain wiki. Once he has about a thousand HP left, he'll start using Unerring Justice, which may kill me. Uh, I may have skipped over his ability to use the control technique because he has such low health now. Regardless of that. And this thing, I have no clue what Unerring Justice does. Heavy Almighty damage. That that sucks. Because that's not something that we really can defend against, is it? And I don't have anyone with Endure. Oh boy, um... Shit, I don't know... Oh god, I don't want to do this fight over again! I mean, I'll guard... ...and have everyone else try to beat the shit out of them. Oh god, it does so little damage still. Uh, do that. Like, there's no way I'd be able to kill him with Teddy and Yukiko. So Teddy, also guard, since you have Samakarum. Okay, you're using control now? That's frustrating. Persona. So now the question is, do they still get the buffs? Okay, so theoretically... Like, they, while they are targeting me, I am resistant. He should only be using physical attacks. Blade of Fury, let's go. It might not have been a good idea. He would be immune to knockdown. Ugh. So the problem is I have no idea how strong that physical attack is. 
So I'm super hesitant to be using my HP or damage right now. He's so close. Persona. No, don't use a fire. No. You lied to me, Wiki. When this is the case, the party members will attack the player using physical attacks. You lied, Wiki. Why would you do that to me? Now I have to do the entirety of that fight over again. God fucking damn it. Hey. Damn. Oh boy. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to... I did a little bit too much damage. So now he actually has more health. I was hoping to reflect one more thing and possibly even skip the whole phase. <sighs> it didn't work though. Of course not. So I can't even select those guys as targets. Okay, so the problem is I chose... This guy who's weak to ice. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't have someone that's... Like, resistant to everything I need. I mean, he's close. But, nah. God damn it, what am I supposed to do? I mean, honestly... I could do this. Increase my evasion. Probably could just use an item, actually, in retrospect. Stop that. I hate this fight. So much. That first phase takes so long. Second phase is fine. Third phase, nah, you just die. Like, I have one chance to beat this fight. And that is to lure him into damaging me so... Lure him into a multi-hip move, I reflect all the things, and skip over an entire phase. That's my best chance. <sighs> that being said... I'm probably just going to grind. Because I do not have it. Like, I I need to be at a higher level for this. Okay. Ugh, boy. Yeah, so, you know, skip ahead to that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fun. Okay. So I got past the part where he takes control of all my guys, and now he's supposed to use a really strong attack that will likely kill everything. Let's see, that attack, unerring justice, 
heavy all my damage to all enemies, i.e. me. Okay, so, in that case... I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm going to die. Like, no matter what happens. Um, okay, so... I, I don't... I, I cannot imagine me doing enough damage to be able to kill him. Like, even with that, he has so much health. I'm actually just going guard. Because I fully expect him to wipe my party, pretty much. Again, don't know how strong this move is. So, I don't know. Wow, good job, Teddy. Okay, interesting choice. Yikes, Teddy! Someone healing! That's not what you s it, but, but it doesn't say you do that! This wiki sucks! Like, the wiki says that, oh yeah, he'll, he'll use the unerring justice thing now. Like, no, but he's not. He's actively not doing that. Now he's doing a different thing. Oh my god. Oh, revival bead. I'm Teddy. Now Tokun's hurt pretty bad. Yeah, 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 I'm you healing. I know how to play the game, Rise. I, I have no clue what's going to happen. All I know is this took about 18 minutes just to get to this point. That's how long this fight is. Why did I just use a soul drop? Come, Himiko. God damn it! I was too busy complaining. That now, why? Why would you- why- one turn of going, oh, fire damage, okay, now on your injustice. Yikes, Teddy! Someone heal him! So yeah, my only way- I have two ways past this. I either grind a shit ton, or I perfectly time reflecting four spells back at him to skip over the entire phase. I'm going to do the first one, because that feels like it'll take less time. Okay, he's at low health. So the question is, will he bother doing the control thing now, or will he just try to start spamming that high attack, 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 attack thing? I don't know. Uh, so that being said, you're probably my better guy right now, Tempest Slash. Uh, could try Blade Blade of Fury. I'll go with you because I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. And since this build has resistance to like half the elements and dodge on the other half. It's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Uh, uh, just... I go for it, I guess. Um... Heal Teddy. Okay, now you show up, Risei. Cool, you increased our attack power. Useful. 
it wasn't. Um, Teddy heal. So again, don't know what's going to happen. Maybe he'll one-shot my party again. Nope, he will use control. Got it. Okay. Persona. Oh, Risa, you're here again? Hi. Okay, so, decision. I can either have my, you know, large chance to counter or evade everything they do. Or I can just flat out reflect physical attacks. This one's not terrible. I think I'll stick with Tamlin, though. I, I don't know, this is... Oh god, so stressful, because every time this takes over 10 minutes just to get to this point. Oh no, Yukiko, no, don't do that. Can't touch this. I think I have Tetrakarn up? Yes, I do. Okay. Tempest Slash. Go for it. Hopefully, if I do enough damage right here... It didn't do what I wanted to do. Oh, boy. Stop. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't realize he got a turn first. Sorta of sucks. But now my best chance is to beat the shit out of him with everything. So I might have this. Senpai, you're low on health. You, Be careful. Why? His health bar didn't move. Thank you. Oh my god. You have absolutely no clue how long this took. And also, if you notice, the experience and money is much higher than you would normally expect from my playthrough. That's because I found out that I had it on low, where I was getting literally 20% experience and money. No wonder I was 10 levels under everything I should be. Jesus Christ, man. I spent an entire weekend grinding before I Damn found it. that out, too. Why? Why? Because I have unlimited time to grind while while user while you were busy hanging out with small children, that's creepy. I was studying the blade. You get that? Get through your thick skull. That's what I thought. Nanako. She looks like she's in pain, but she doesn't seem to be injured anywhere. Well gee, it's Almost as though she's not wearing the special glasses that lets her not get a severe headache while being in here. Do you guys forget that? This place must not be good for her. We need to carry her out quick. I swear these people forget everything they learn about this the other world every single time they come here. Now, game, will you be we nice? We should take him with us as well. Yeah, sure. Will you be yeah, nice? We can't just leave him here, I guess. Let me finish talking, Yosuke. Will you be nice and let me save the game after that fight? Achievement unlocked, Return of the Angels. Nanako chan, hang in there. <laughs> hey, Dojima. Uh, don't ask why, but we're at the Juness food court. It's like, what? <laughs> what are we gonna do? Take her to the hospital. She's so small. And she was stuck in there for so long. And then there was that weird fog. Damn it! To be fair, I literally got her out on the first day. So she was in there for maybe a few hours. The police and paramedics will be here shortly. Hopefully don't, don't question why we are 
once again, at Junez. Isn't this like the third time we've called the cops that, yeah, we're the Junez Electronics Department. We have someone here. It's like... The... Are they not questioning that fact? They probably should. Just throwing that out there. They're not going to let me save, are they? <sighs> okay, in that case, I'm going to stop the video here. Because, watch me. And then in the next episode, we will continue with a super somber move. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my meltdown as I fought that boss. If you liked the video, do the thing that does the thing lets me know about the thing. Until next time, bye-bye.